Hey my dear friends once again welcome back to the channel I am Gaurav here and congratulations we have reached part 10 of this series and that's our first milestone well then my dear friends so in today's video we're gonna give the ability to rotate our camera with the player's rotation right but first as I always say if you are new in this channel then please check out our previous videos first and also subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that bell icon it's absolutely free and now it's our project as you see here let's open the camera follow script in the visual studio or visual code depends on you and here you see is our code looks pretty nice so to rotate our camera with the player's rotation we just need to make a little tiny change in our script here in the late update where we are calculating camera position so in here we just need to use transform dot transform point function instead of transform dot position but now here we are getting that red squiggly line cause transform dot point actually is a function and it takes a parameter so let's give a parameter but wait what kind of parameter it takes well as you see here when I hover mouse over this you can see that it takes back the three type parameter and one overload so instead of adding offset we will give offset as a parameter cause here you see that our offset is a vector 3 type variable okay yeah yeah i know it's time for clarification for transform dot transform point function so let's get started well transform dot transform point function converts a point from local space to world space okay well, let me give you a simple example let's assume that you have a ball on your hand and you hold your hand straight out of the front and then you start rotating or moving anywhere but the ball will always in front of you exactly on the same location like ball is not moving anywhere however if you talk about wall space then the ball's coordinates are continuously changing with your rotation and movement because currently the ball is on your hand so for you ball isn't moving anywhere but for the world space the ball is continuously moving with your moment this is what transform dot transform point function does it takes the local space coordinates and convert it to world space coordinates based on the transform of current object in this case the current object is you and the ball is on your hand that means the ball's position will always relative to you right well my dear friends i did my best to describe about what transform dot transform point does hope you guys cleared your confusions so let's head back to the unity and let it combine and hit the play button and here you see that our camera just rotate with our player's rotation awesome So let's head back to the script again and here I was using slur cause I was checking its effect on my camera movement but I found that lerp looks fine to me so we will use lerp. I already described the lerp in the smooth camera follow video so if you forgot what lerp does and wanna know about it then you should check out that video I'll give that link in the description. So basically lerp is a linear interpolation in between two vectors and slurp is a spherical interpolation in between two vectors so now our code looks little messy so let's make a separate function for camera movement calculation here private void update cam pause function and put that all code in it and yeah don't forget to call that function in the late update And here I'm gonna change its name target transform but you can keep it it's not necessary and uh, we're good to go let's test it and uh, head back to the editor and hit that play button and here we got smooth and nice camera rotation relative to the players rotation and now I think it's time to end this video and in the next video we will start working on enemy AI so exciting but till then keep learning keep practicing and i'll meet you in the further upcoming videos for now see you later